Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Moon Project. We here at the Moon Project are continuing in our series of videos of uh, infra information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And I'm reminded uh, of a story with respect to Kavana, that uh, requisite uh, spiritual intent that we have when we're praying or when, we do, when we're doing any mitzvah. And um, Rabzusha of Anapol, Blessed that Abzusha of Anapol lived in abject poverty his whole life would tell a story about his mother. And he said, My mother, she never used to pray from a sitter, from a prayer book. Why? My mother didn't know how to read. She couldn't read. She didn't know how to read. She memorized the brachas. She memorized the blessings. So when she davened, when she prayed, it was all done from memory. She couldn't read. She didn't know how. But the Rabzusha said, wherever my mother stood to pray, and she prayed with such kavana, such deep spiritual intent, wherever she prayed, the Divine Presence, the Shekhinah, rested at that spot the rest of the day. And this is one of the things that Hasidus, uh, the Hasidic movement uh, brings us. While it's nice to be a Torah scholar, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you shouldn't read, you should. You should study, you should learn. But that's not a prerequisite to connecting with the Creator. A simple, plain, ordinary Jew a simple, plain, ordinary Ben Noach or Baz Noach can connect to the Creator if he or she comes with truth, honesty, simplicity, and pour your heart out to God. If you can read from a prayer book, great. If you can read in English or whatever your language is, Fine. If you can't read at all, that's okay. Open up your heart to God. Speak to the Creator. Connect to the Creator with truth, honesty, simplicity. Mean what you say. Open your heart. God is waiting to hear from you. The Creator is, wants so badly to hear from you. Open your hearts. Learn from Rabzusha's mom. Even though she did everything from memory, she couldn't read the letters. She davened, she prayed with such intensity. As Rabzusha said, the Shekhinah, the Divine Presence, on that spot, rested the rest of the day. Um, let's be inspired by these simple homespun stories of devout people who, because of their intense relationship, their intense fervor, their kavana, connect with the Creator in a very powerful way. There's no magic to the words, you can do it. You can do it, I promise you. Open up, be truthful, be honest, be sincere. There's no magic to the words. You don't have to be King David. You don't have to write a you know, Psalms. Speak to the Creator as if you would a close, trusted, personal friend. Use your own words. Use your own language. Speak. Speak out loud if you can. Get used to it. Build that connection. And you will enjoy the spiritual benefits of having connected with the Almighty. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.